Nothing yeah. special. Yeah. Pure delicious. Pure delicious. My name is uh, Banky, man. Everybody calls me Banky. That's the name that I got from my grandmother when I was young. I'm coming out here after 30 years. Yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm going to have something because I'm rich in personality. You know, and uh, I'm rich in love. My family loves me. And that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Shout out to everybody out there on Team Banky Pound, man. I appreciate the love. Appreciate the support. We out here, 33, 33 years of prison stories, man. Appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. Y'all go check me out on Instagram, man. I've been, uh, you know, posting some things that, uh, you know, I'm doing with the youth. So y'all go check it out. Um, big love, big love, man, to all my supporters, all my members, all my mods, all my TBP nation, man. Y'all don't know. How much y'all mean to me, man. But uh, big love, big love. Man, um, today, I guess I'm going to go ahead. Um, I ain't got no choice. Y'all been forcing me, man. I got to go ahead and um, <laughs> talk about my crazy man, man. Oh, Zulu. <laughs> Zulu. And let him tell it, the African warrior. Zulu, man. Um, man. Man, Zulu was one... Oh, uh, wild, wild character, man. Um, I met Zulu on uh, Power Ten, man. I think I want to say ninety eight or ninety nine. You know, I met him then. Um, I believe I actually slept right beside Zulu. Like I'm in this cell right here. Zulu is in this cell. And Big Time is in this cell. So I'm right in between Zulu and Big Time, you know. And if y'all been watching this, uh, these videos, TBP, y'all already know the situation. I told y'all about Zulu and Big Time. So I just did the video about Big Time. So I figured I'd come back with the Zulu video, especially after the live when y'all had me on there, um, you know, laughing uncontrollably, you know. But, uh, yes. Yeah, Zulu was different, man. He was a different type of cat, man. He he just was. He now he would tell you <laughs> that he from Africa, but you know I personally don't believe he, he from no Africa. You know what I'm saying? But that's 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 what he take on, and probably that's why he gave himself that name. But man, all in all, he's a he's a funny dude, man. He funny. Be, and he be being himself, but he funny to to me and to a lot of other people, right? And he and he laugh and joke and play sometimes, but when he get in his little thing, man, he he got this thing. I told you, I only knew like a couple of people that bite their tongue like that, and all of the ones that I knew, like I say, they they were some dangerous cats, man. When they get get upset, and that was Bo Billy. Bo bite his tongue when he get mad. He, and then you got Block, Southside Block. Block bite his tongue. And then you got Zulu. Zulu just be trying to chew his tongue off. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can't make this stuff up, man. But them the three cats that pop up in my mind when I think about, you know, biting their tongue and, you know, going into a fit of rage or whatever. And, they, and, and, and none of the three did it. Unless they was mad. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes Zulu just might be chewing his tongue when he's talking to you. He might just be talking and be like, um, what, you, man? You know, because I when I was on Power 10, I took a brick mason class, right? Zulu had already took the brick mason class, and Zulu was a aide in the brick mason class. He was a facilitator. He took the class. The dude that ran the um the, the, the program hired Zulu as as his aide. Zulu, he knew he knew that brick mason stuff. He knew how to lay the bricks or whatever. I'm trying to think of that dude's name, man, the um the, the teacher man, because he 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 was a he was a really good dude, man. What his name was. He was a good dude. I mean he was so good to he would tell you straight up. 
you know, if you take this class and you pass this class, if you get out, whenever you get out, if you are in the 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 the, uh, the, the Tri City area, you know, the DMV, anything in the DMV, he said, let me know. And if you're trying to get a job, I, I know everybody that's in this business and I give them a call and put in a word for you and you can get a job. So he was a good dude, man. I'm going to think of his name before this video because I want to give him a shout out, man. He, he was a really good dude. You know what I'm saying? He came into, he had a job there, you know, running the Brick Mason class, but he was not a part of the administration. He was a part of the uh, the enterprise because he ran the Brick Mason um, uh, uh so, uh, what his name was? Morton. Yep, his name was Morton. So shout out to uh, shout out to Mr. Morton, man. Morton was a good dude because he had that old uh, uh, Bama lieutenant on there named Morton. And I used to ask, man, that man some kin to you? He said, no way, no way, no way. Nah, nah, he ain't no kin to me. But his name was Morton, man. So shout out to Morton, man. But he had Zulu in the class. Now, the only problem with that was you know, I told y'all Zulu, he 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 crazy. <laughs> it ain't no other way around. He 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 crazy. He got some screws loose. And Zulu used to be teaching dudes, and you know, like what we we you know we laying bricks, we making um uh uh chimneys and uh what else what what you call that stuff um chimneys and arcs and um. All, all the uh, stairs, we make it all of this type of stuff in brick mason class. So Zulu is hands-on because Mr. Morton might be over there, you know, doing paperwork, doing whatever he's doing. So Zulu is the facilitator. So he have, man, <laughs> you got this facilitator. He crazy, you know. Man, man, what are you, man, you, you know, man, what you doing? Nah, take that up, man. You wasting mortar, man. Man, you, man, get out the Man, you need to quit, man. Go go get your GED. You got your GED? You know, and, and dudes ain't know how to take them. That's them young dudes because they looking at them. And I told you, Zulu got, he got some size on him. He ain't like cut up like, you know, the dudes that really like hit that weight power. He just country big and strong, man. And when I tell you strong, the Bama strong, man. He, I'm telling you, he's strong as an ox. And you know you got that country strength where dudes just like, yeah, they just cut. Zulu got that. You know what I'm saying? And, and like I say, he big, he thick, and he he's strong, man. So Zulu, man, he used to be screaming on dudes in class, but he knew what he was talking about because he really did know how to, you know, lay them bricks. And you know what I'm saying? Make the walls, the chimneys, the stairs, the, you know, the, the arcs. Man, I made, a, I made a fly zone in there, man. I remember I sent it home. I'm going to try to find a picture. I made this big old uh, like fireplace type thing, and I, and 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 I even had to cut the bricks and make a circle. It was a circle in the middle middle of a brick wall. So man, that jump was fly, man. I, I felt I felt real proud of myself, man. I felt real proud of myself when I made that jump. But I I did all of that stuff. I made the walls, the stairs, you know, the chimneys, uh, the uh, uh, walkway. I can I can I can do all of that. You know what I'm saying? It boom pop back in my brain if I went to try to do it. But anyway, Zulu. He, he facilitated the class, so I was around him a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm around him in class, then we go back to the block. We in the block together, you know? But like I say, Zulu, he, he ain't had no real whole lot of support coming from the street. So, you know, but he get paid for being a facilitator, so he'll get money once a month. You know what I'm saying? Probably $40, 50 You know what I'm saying? But every now and then, you know, like I say, you got to eat in prison, man. I'm telling you, the food is so horrible, man. You're you, you going to have to bust that commissary door down. And in order to do that, you're going to have to have some funds. So, you know, you run out if you ain't really got no money coming in. You ain't really got no hustle going on. You ain't really got nothing going on. Zulu ain't had no hustle. You know what I'm saying? He ain't had no hustle. His hustle was he knew how to lay brick, and that's his job. That's it. He ain't, he ain't gamble. He ain't play no poker. He ain't shoot no dice. He ain't bet on no games. He ain't do none of that. So he, he getting it from the rough. So he living from check to check, month to month. So every now and then, he might be late. Or ain't got something, he might come borrow some food or come get something from somebody. But he may come get it, and then when it comes time to pay it, it, it you know, he, he he might be a little slow. You know what I'm saying? He might be a little slow because he might not got number forty five fifty dollars on his check. So he owed a dude twenty thirty dollars from eating off of the dude all month. You know, he a big cat. He got to eat. 
And then come payday, Zulu might be like, man, um, look, I, I owe you 30. Um, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you 15. And I'm gonna give you the other 15 in about a week or two. And dudes, dudes who run store box, man. I'm a store box dude. Dude, I ain't going for that. Nah, nah, you gonna give me all my money, man. What, what are you talking about? If you owe me 30, you bought 15 from me. You're not giving me nothing but what I gave you. And you talking about giving me. Nah, nah, you can't do that. Zulu be like, hey, I'm trying to be real with you. This is what I can do. You know what I'm saying? I can't do no more than that. That's what that's all I can do. Man, you gotta get my money. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. I ain't look, look, I ain't gotta do nothing. Nothing. I'm trying to tell you what I can do and what I'm gonna do, but don't tell me what I gotta do, man. No, you no, you got me effed up. And you know, <laughs> you owe this guy, man. You owe him. And you trying to tell him how to run his business. And this is where a lot of his problems came at. But dudes was a little leery of him because, like I say, he ain't, he ain't, punk, he gon he will fight. And if you ain't got no weapon or nothing, man, you in for a heck of a fight, man. <laughs> the boy's strong as a bull. <laughs> He's strong as a bull, you know what I'm saying? And dudes knew it, you know what I'm saying? And like I say, you can look at that and in a way, really, it is lasting. It's lasting because you know, you knew that from the beginning. You knew you had limited amount of funds to, to, to play with. So don't come giving me that flim flammery when you done got my stuff, you know what I'm saying? So you know that, but at the same time, he, he trying to be, you know, what, what they call passive aggressive. He trying to be like, look, I'm going to pay you, but just give me a minute. Nah, you don't give you no minute, man. <laughs> but I got time for that. Nah, I'm in this business to make money, man. I'm giving you my stuff because I got it and you don't have it. And I'm trying to double up and, and flip my money. You know what I'm saying? And, man, man, Zulu, man, Zulu got to the point, man, he couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't go to too many store boxes. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they knew he, he had that flim flammy with him and they ain't really want that smoke with him because they know it was going to be some smoke. Now, that's how him and Big Time come unbenefited because Big Time got a store box. Big Time going to give you the money. Big Time ain't tripping off that because he chasing every dollar. You know, he he New York. He, don't, he want every dollar, son. You know, so he ain't tripping because he willing to fight for his too. So when... Zulu got his and ain't had the money. And big time talking at all. Hey, laughing and playing like, come on, man. Come on, come on, son. You know, and Zulu like, look, I'm going to give it to you, but you going to have to wait. And that's it. And big time more or less like, well, how you eating it? Now you going to the microwave and you eating and you something you ain't got my money. I don't get that, son. I don't, I don't understand that, son. I mean, make me understand, son. And Zulu like, oh, so, <laughs> you you think I'm gonna give you the food that I got to eat to last me till I go to the store and sit in the cell and be hungry and just give you the food when you got all that stuff and then you run the store about? That's what you think, man. <laughs> man, you better go ahead, man. <laughs> you better let me give it to you when I give it to you, man. You know, and that's how that whole thing <laughs> they cranked up, and, and, and you know. You know, I see both of their point. Cause I I used to be like that because man, I man, when I first got in prison and I get the gambling and I lose, man, I'm telling you, if I lose more than what I can afford to pay, and I got to give it to you and then I got to go without, nah, I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? I can't. You know, I couldn't, you know what I'm saying? And and, and I and I'm not sitting up here saying that I went wrong. I know I was wrong, but I would nah, I couldn't do that. I'm not, I'm nah. It ain't no way I could give you my stuff and watch you eating every night and I know you owe me and you ain't pay me. You know what I'm saying? Or it ain't no way I could give you mine and go watch you eat and I'm sitting here and I ain't got nothing. Cause I done gave you my stuff. Nah, I couldn't nah, nah. So you know, 
So I understand from both perspectives, but now by the time I done been in the store box business a minute myself, so I'm looking at it like from the store box business point of view. So I'm I'm really like siding with big time, like, man, you come get mine, I want it. <laughs> I got to have it. You know, so there, that's when you got the uh the um the uh what, what's the word what's the word I'm looking for the hip hypocrisy you know what I'm saying because when I'm on that side I can understand it but now I'm on this side I understand it this way I know it's it's hypocritical but you know I was young that's how my brain was working man but yeah but big man uh, Zulu ain't Zulu ain't Zulu ain't is not gonna give you his last I can tell you that right now. He don't care if he got to go to that microwave with one buck buck naked noodle. He going to that microwave and have something to eat at night because he got to have something to eat. It, period. If, if he owe you 10 soups and he ain't got nothing but 10 soups in his cell, you might going to get three. <laughs> you might get three of them. And he, he going to hold the rest. He going to hold them seven for the week, one a night. And if you want to fight, let's come to the shower. The talking is over. Come to the shower, I'm gonna, I man, I break your neck. And, and if you looking at this stuff in your mind, you said, you said, should I go, should I go to the shower with this crazy fool? No, no. And that's what most dudes gonna be like, man. And I ain't going up in the shower with you, fool. You know, because you looking at him, he look insane. He look insane. He be and huffing and, and, and puffing in. He might, man, I done seen this joker, man, hit that table in that, you know, them steel tables. We got the big long bench. Man, Zulu hit them tables, be like, boom. Man, I, I wish what? Man, I wish you would. And... and <laughs> <laughs> you got to be, you got to be secure in your rumble game, secure in your gangster, you know, secure in your Bethlehem plate to, to, to look at a dude like Zulu and say, oh, he fake it or, or I'm, oh yeah, but well, I'm going to try him. Yeah, you, you, you going to have to be locked in, man. Cause I'm going to tell you, man, from the, from the, from the optics. Man, he look insane. You know what I'm saying? And dudes and seen him. He'll come in the visit. He'll, he'll come in the day room at any time, man. I mean, like, it's game day. It's Saturday. Everybody, I mean, Sunday, everybody in there watching the, the uh, NFL games. Or Saturday where everybody in there watching the college uh, games. And Zulu might come up in that joint. And, man, he just might walk up in there. <clears throat> could pull the door and walk up in there. Who in here? Want to try me? I, I feel like just trying somebody today. And he said, you know, and he look at the dudes to be on the weight pile and everything. Tell me, yeah, all the must, all the must. Yeah, look at mine. Yeah, I don't even lift weights. This all natural, straight from Africa. Yeah. <laughs> and you might be like, man, this fool is insane. And I done seen them just wrestle dudes, man. And I'm talking about dudes that be on the weight pile, big old, you know, cut up everywhere, muscles everywhere. Man, they have a problem with, they, they got a problem with that cat, man. The cat is strong, man. He just got natural strength. He just strong. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how he was. But when he was doing things like that, he was, he, he was more or less playing. But when he gets serious, it's the same thing. He just chew and bite on his tongue and just snap out. And if you question him or ask him some stupid stuff, he do it on the police too. The police were scared of that dude, man. I'm telling you straight up. The police on Pantan were scared of Zulu because they ain't know where he was coming from. They called him Zulu. They didn't even call him his state name. They supposed to call you by your state name. You know what I'm saying? That's what they call you, Mr. Whatever your last name is. And when they talk to Zulu, if they say Mr. Whatever his name, I can't even remember because I call him Zulu too. <laughs> I call him Zulu too. He slept right beside me. But if they come to his cell and say Mr. Such such, he'll say, what? You know my name. Yes. Yeah, 
Look, look, come on. All right, all right Zulu, Zulu, uh, come to the front for me. Yeah, all right? Yeah, he, he, that's all he going to answer to. You know what I'm saying? Everybody called him Zulu, including the police. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, he just, he was crazy. And I'm almost sure that I talked to him since I've been home, man. I talked to him. Somebody got his number or, or, or somebody gave him my number. He called me and I talked to him, man. I swear I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try TBP. I'm gonna try to find him. I'm gonna try to get him, and I'm gonna try to get him in front of this camera, man, so y'all can get it. Put your eyes on him, man. Hopefully and prayerfully, he alright. But I know I talked to him since I've been home. You know what I'm saying? And then when you got all this penitentiary stuff in your head, sometimes they get it, they be running. You know, and you're like, did I talk to Zulu since I've been home, or was that in prison? But I'm almost sure I talked to him. But it was it, it, it was a minute ago. Cause somebody had said, boom, I, I had said, mentioned him in the video, and somebody said, had, had mentioned it to him and seen the video, and he found somebody, got with somebody, got my number and called me, and we talked for a minute. Cause we had, uh, we had another dude that was in comedy that was cool with us, it was from, from, from uh, his way too, Cowboy, man, shout out to Cowboy, which I haven't talked to since I've been home. But Cowboy was uh, was one of my uh, soldiers too, man. Crazy, I gotta do a video on Cowboy too. Wow, cat man, you know, with the right name, cowboy. But um, yeah, and the cowboy was cut up like you know, like a fifth of dope, man. He 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 yeah he he is the prison definition of prison body. He yeah he he cut up. That's what that was his asset. You know what I'm saying? And him and Zulu used to be at it all the time. And Zulu used to say the same thing. I don't need all them cuts. I don't need all them muscles. I got. I'm 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 yeah. I'm stronger than all of y'all. Yeah, uh, you know, and, and you, that's the type of tip he was on. He was just just one of those cats, man. They just that's what he owned, man. And like I said, I done seen him, man. He got some, man. He got some massive, massive hands, man. His hands is big as I don't know what. And I done seen him slap people, man. I'm talking about, and it sound like a shotgun. Zulu, I see him slap. I slap. <laughs> I see him slap a white boy one time, man. I swear. I swear, man. I'm not exact. I felt it. <laughs> I felt it. That's how hard it was. That's how much it sounded. It sounded like a shotgun. He said, the white he got something from the white boy. And the white boy had the they had the audacity to ask him for his stuff back. And Zulu say, You, you gonna ask me for three suits back? Three suits. Lucky I ain't take all your suits and you gonna ask. Man, get out my face. And the dude was like, man, I'm just saying I gave you the suits. I was just trying to say you gonna give them back. Zulu say. Bah! I mean he slap fire. I'm talking about knock them to the ground to the point where he hit the ground. He slid a little bit. <laughs> and Zulu say, now ask me for him again. You want him? You want him? And he said, they do say, nah, nah, you, you can keep him. You can keep him. You can keep him. He said, yeah, yeah, I know I can keep him. Yeah, don't act. Yeah, man, y'all better, man, y'all gonna make me snap out up in here. And man, he just, he, he, and the police was used to him. They know he'll snap out. So they may hear the ruckus or the confusion. They look over, they see, oh, it's Zulu, that's Zulu. They gonna keep an eye for a minute, make sure he don't go all the way off. But they'll look and say, "Yeah, that, that that's Zulu. <laughs> that's Zulu." Remember, I told y'all the video. I, it is in one of the videos on Pat Time when I told y'all about, you know, the Bama came in there. You know, the old football player, ex football player, crazy dude. They called me out, tell me some ring king. I'm gonna try you today, and I had to give him the business. Man, <laughs> y'all should have heard Zulu. Yeah, Zulu was like. <laughs> Man, I wish he would have, man, I would have broke his neck. That's his favorite saying out of everything I'm telling you. I didn't say heard all types of stuff come out of his mouth. That's his go-to. He going to tell you straight up, I'll break your neck. <laughs> I will snap your neck in hell. I, I wish you would. I, I'll snap your neck. I, and that's how, <laughs> I know this sounds crazy to y'all. But I'm telling you, this is this is prison, man. This is prison life. These is prison characters. This is what you in. You are in uh 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 whatever they call legal insane asylum. 
That's what you in when you in prison. You in a legal, insane asylum with no escape. No escape. And you got to deal with all of these people each and every day of your existence if you plan on surviving. Period. Ain't no other way around it. And you got the Zulus and you got the Bo Billies and the Sam Pitts and the the, the, the Shorty Pimps and the Georgia D Flights and the, you, you got them all, man. The river boats and the, I, the these these is people that you gonna encounter in prison. It's just that simple. It ain't no other way around it. That's why I preach what I preach to these young kings and queens. This is not a life that you want. I promise you it's not a life. Imagine that. That's what I asked y'all in the live. Man, in the live, I'm like, just imagine you just coming to prison. You young, you green, you scared. If you say you're not scared, you're lying. You know what I'm saying? Because you knew you're in a new environment, a crazy environment. And you see this, <laughs> this big black joker walking around, biting on his tongue, acting crazy, acting like a maniac. And you like, man. <laughs> not to mention all the other stuff you're going to see. It, you know, it, it it will mess your psyche up, man. It will mess your psyche up. You know, Zulu could have been a dude that would could have been used on Scare Straight. <laughs> the Scare Straight program, they could have used Zulu. Because when people would have seen him, them young cats would have seen him and know that this is going to be possibly your cellmate or possibly your, you know, somebody in the block with you. Nah, that Nah, this nah, cause he looked crazy, and he his facial expressions is crazy. He looked crazy. He keep his head naughty. He keep his clothes wrinkled. He don't care nothing about. It. Oh, and he was a coffee monster too. He loved that coffee, so he might walk around and say, "Hey man, let me get a shot of coffee." And man, them little white dudes or them uh, they scared and they be like, "Oh, they ain't got none." And Zulu be like, "You drinking some?" And pour some in my cup. <laughs> pour, pour some of your cup in my cup. Man, if you scared it, they be like, okay. Okay. Yeah, Zulu said, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Look out for a buff. Look out for a buff. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, man, he was a... Yeah, he was a wild one, man. And like I told you, when that stuff happened with him... In big time, I'm telling you, I am not exaggerating, man. I can't even count how many police was trying to hold this cat down. Now, mind you, they ain't no, you know, in shape and all this. They, they, they just got a job and a title and a uniform. But, man, they couldn't hold that dude for nothing, man. They, they was just piling in, getting more, getting more. And Zulu just hollering because he mad because big time no cluck them. Cluck up, cluck up. You know, he want, he want his get back. He like... <laughs> Kill you! I'll break your neck, man. He break him up off of me. He running, trying to get to him. They had to tackle him some more. I mean, it was just, it was pure chaos, man. Pure chaos. And I'm telling you, I see Zulu go up in that laundry room when dudes think they strong and, and, and want to wrestle him. And all you heard up in there is, They turn everything knocking over the dryer, the, 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 the washing machine, and Zulu might come up out that joint, and as soon as he step on the tier, he might say, nah! Yeah, who wants some more? <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this is the life that I lived, man. And I'm and I'm 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 relatively young during this time. I mean, I'm in my either late 20s or maybe early 30, you know, no more than 31, 30, 31 years old or 30, you know what I'm saying? And man, I'm telling you, man, I was like, man, <laughs> this is a wild dude, man. And like I said, I dealt with him all day because I was I was in the brick mason class. So I go to brick mason class, you know, five days a week. You know what I'm saying? When I come back, I'm with him. When I go to go to go to class, I'm with him. And when I come back, I'm with him. He sleep right beside me. I've dealt with him all day. Me and him ain't never no part. Cause I laugh at him. I look at him and I laugh. He didn't even ask me a couple times. What you think? <laughs> what you think? Something funny about me or something? <laughs> and I say, I just wanna know how you keep chewing, how you keep chewing your tongue, but you but you always say you're hungry. <laughs> 
Man, oh man, I'm telling you, man, this don't just take me back, man. It take me back, man. But shout out to Zulu, man. Get at me, man. If somebody give you this video and you heard about this video, man, get at me, man. And I hope you ain't out here on these streets, man, scaring these people, man. I, I, I really hope you ain't. And um, hope you're working, man. Probably got a job in some type of construction or something, man. And uh, hope you ain't scaring them cats on your job, neither, man. They gonna get you fired, man. <laughs> He gonna get you fired, you know. But uh, yeah, man, I wanted to bring that to y'all, man, cause y'all always ask me about Zulu, man. But yeah, it's 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 some stories, some more I probably could think of in my mind, man. But I had to get this off my chest, man. Coming up off of that live last night, and all y'all requesting this video, man. So you know, I work for you. So that's you know that's that's at the top of my head about Zulu, man. Real unique character, um. Personally, even if he see this, he might get upset with personally. I don't believe he's from Africa, but he going to tell you he's from Africa and he part of the Zulu tribe. So shout out to the Zulu tribe, man. You know, he might be telling the truth. Who knows? But anyway, man, he a good dude at heart. Definitely a good dude at heart, man. And um, got nothing but love for him, man. So uh, shout out to Zulu, man. Shout out to TBP Nation, man, for rocking with me. Let's get it going. We on our way. Won't stop, can't stop. See y'all in 24 hours with another one. Y'all be safe, be smart, make good decisions, man. And share these videos, like these videos. Talk to me in the comments. Y'all know I talk back. We got big things popping coming in 2023. We're going to take TBP Nation everywhere. So tell a friend to tell a friend to come on get with this movement, man. Because it won't, we are not stop, cannot stop, and it won't be stopped. We going all the way and spread this message all over the world that's our mission that's our goal let's get it salute peace and love man y'all be safe be smart make good decisions man duck them hooks man and i'm gonna tell you something and you you better take this for granted if you see a joker biting his tongue man and leave him alone Bow. Thank you, special. Yeah, pure delicious. Pure delicious. My name is uh, Banky, man. Everybody calls me Banky. That's the name that I got from my grandmother when I was young. I'm coming out here after 30 years. Yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality. You know, and uh, I'm rich in love. My family love me, and that really—that's that's really the, all that counts.